I pondered this out on Twitter, that our political beliefs have significant genetic bases, and therefore banning people based upon their political beliefs is practicing a form of genetic discrimination. And that's true. You know, that's that's true. And we have tendencies towards truth. And we have tendencies towards lies, right? We have tendencies towards confirmation bias of that which comes easiest to us. And that's why the people who aren't leftists are just better at the truth than leftists. It's why they can meme. It's why they're more curious. It's why they're funnier in general. Because, you know, we live in a leftist world. We live in a leftist world. And if you're exposed to leftist views and you can still criticize the left, well, you're indoctrinated with leftist views and you still criticize the left, you're just smarter. You're just more curious and so on. So I would say that... Um, there is a lot of incentive. Somebody taking money from the welfare state can't be objective about the welfare state. There's a lot of incentive. And there's also a lot of genetics involved, which is why we need philosophy, why we need to be able to subsume our own particular preferences towards a universal objective truth standard. So, and I don't know whether we are preventing disaster or whether we are simply documenting the decline so that we gain authority when it happens.